morning friends the sun is out it's actually been raining all morning and it is now about a quarter of 11 and the sun has finally come out i had been getting myself together and ready for most of the morning for when the rain stopped and the sun came out and now it is out and now i am going to go out and run some errands i have a truck truck i have a trunk load my car actually is loaded full of stuff that i'm going to be taking to um, the goodwill for donations and um, i still have bags out there in the garage that i need to fit in my car i don't know if they're all going to fit we're going to try um, but I have been cleaning out my closet and cleaning out the guest room. So I have tons of stuff that I'm going to be getting rid of. And then I want to run to Kohl's really quick because I know they have a new like home line and I kind of wanted to see what they had. And then I have to run into Target or Walmart and I'm not sure exactly which one yet and grab a few things for a recipe that I'm going to be making tonight. I'm going to be making a meatloaf out of the Miranda Lambert cookbook. I will share that with you guys in a second. But first things first, I want to show you what I'm wearing today. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, let's see. Um, okay, so really quickly, I am wearing, whoops, sorry. I am wearing just a pair of leggings, very comfortable leggings, because it's still kind of chilly outside. It's supposed to be like in the 60s. Um, and then I have a white t-shirt on with just my like cute little like waffle knit pink jacket. And then um, my like New Balance tennis shoes. And um, yeah, they've got pink on the side, so they kind of match my jacket. And... We are gonna go, and then when I get back, I have these clothes to fold on the bed, and I have these sheets to put away. So that is gonna be the plan. Let's go and hang out with me today. So this is the meatloaf that I'm gonna make today. I've made it before. Um, this is from the Miranda Lambert cookbook, and um, it's called Bev's Famous Meatloaf. So I wrote everything down on my list. I put my list in my purse, and we are headed out. All right, I'm gonna have to back my car out to put the rest of the stuff in here because I have about one, two, three, four bags that I need to put in here to take. I think I have room over here to put them in. But really quick, I wanted to show you guys this little tiny garbage can. Look how tiny it is. It's super cute. It's like the size of my hand. Um, anyway, little push button or little push uh, thingy here push lid <laughs> and it comes with these cute little garbage bags so i got this on amazon and um it fits perfectly like inside of my like the side of my door over here um, i usually have a garbage can that i keep in the back right here behind this seat and it's just like a regular like i like got a small bathroom garbage can or whatever but um when I have people here, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, when I have people in the car or whatever, I usually have to take that garbage can out because people don't have room to sit back there if I leave it in there. So um, I just thought, well, these would be a little bit more convenient. So I put one on each door. That way, like when you take paper off of a straw or get a receipt that you don't need anymore, you just like toss it in there. So perfect. Now I'm going to back the car out. I'm going to load up my car. I'm going to show you guys all the stuff that I have in my car. To do oh, I got to get gas today too, looks like. All right, so things on my list, add that on. I'll see you in a sec. So I realized that I pulled out of my driveway and I forgot to show you guys everything, but yeah, my car is loaded up. It just feels so good to kind of just get rid of things. I'm actually even trying to thin out my wardrobe a little bit and only keep like minimal things that I need that I wear all the time. Anything that I haven't worn in a year, I'm getting rid of. I actually just kind of want to keep some staple pieces, but um, it's still a lot. <laughs> so I still have a lot. Um, but again, if I don't wear them within the year, I will get rid of it next year. So every spring, it's just kind of nice to do stuff like this. It's just kind of get rid of um, things that you haven't used and just kind of declutter and it feels really good to do all of that And that's what I've been trying to do and I did it with the guest bedroom I'll show you guys a little update on that guest bedroom uh, Later on when we get back because I made some changes in there as well, which is still in a work in progress but it just takes some time because yesterday I worked in my closet <laughs> so uh, Yeah, so now I take all this stuff to Goodwill. We're gonna go to Kohl's possibly Target, maybe Walmart. I haven't decided which one yet. And then um, I got to get gas first too. So got to get gas and all those things. And then, um, yeah, see you guys soon. Alrighty, so I made it into Kohl's and I'm already seeing something that I like. I love that. Vase, $30. That is a great deal for that. Wow, I love that. 
I think I'm going to get that. Actually, I don't know. I kind of like this one better because it's a little different. Let's see how much that one is. $24.99. That one's different. So I kind of like that one. Ooh, yeah, I think I'll get that one. They have a lot more over here, too. And I like this one. I like the texture. Let's see. $24.99. Yeah, I like that one, too. I also like this one with the speckles on it. I know, I kind of like that one, too. So honestly, I'm not seeing anything like home-wise that I'm like wowed by. Like I do like that vase, and I think $30 is a really pretty reasonable price for it. But I'm not definitely seeing like the home stuff that I've been seeing, like other people share or post. So, but I do like this vase. So, and I have an idea for it. That's why I want to get this vase. So I am going to get this one. I think I'm going to get this one with the speckles because I like the speckles. Yeah. So Kohl's is pretty sad. It actually started raining again, so I need to like wipe off my glasses. Um, but yeah, nothing really exciting in there. I did get that um, vase. That's the only thing that I got. Hold on, I'm gonna see you guys up here. That's the only thing that I got, and it was like twenty-seven dollars with tax. So I thought that was that wasn't horrible. And obviously, I have an idea. I know where I'm putting that. So um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go over to Target and get the things that I need at Target. I'm gonna get my list out. And yeah, I just have to get a few of those things at, um, let's see, what do I have to get at Target? Ooh, kind of smeary. Um, let's see, my list, my list, my list. Um, I have to get garbage bags, tomato juice, potatoes, ground beef, pork sausage, gluten-free crackers, a bell pepper onions, and coffee. Oh, Brian wrote on coffee. <laughs> I'm like, that's not my handwriting. Brian wrote on coffee. He needs more coffee, which I highly doubt that he does. He doesn't look in the pantry. <laughs> and I always like have it in the cabinet in the pantry in the bottom. But anyway, okay, so let's off, let's go off to Target. And yeah, let's see what we can find at Target. Get all the things that I need for my meatloaf tonight. I'm excited about meatloaf. Yummy. So this is a very, very small Target haul. Um, I just picked up the crackers, which I could not find gluten-free crackers, so that's a bummer. Um, I picked up some pork sausage, because that's what the recipe calls for. And then I picked up some uh, lean ground beef, got those. I got the bell pepper, which they didn't have a green one, so I got a red one. And I got an onion, I got potatoes for it. I got garbage bags, and I got some tomato juice. They did not have like regular tomato juice, so I ended up having to get V8, which is fine, because this is what I've been drinking like every morning when I wake up. So, now, I gotta put this stuff away.
friends. It has been, I don't know, two days. So, well, yeah, I didn't, I didn't pick up the camera at all yesterday and I will tell you why. So as I explained in my other, my previous like video, this vlog, part of this vlog, I, um, what's today? Today's Thursday. So Tuesday, Tuesday, actually it was a little over the weekend. I was cleaning up and out the guest bedroom and I have a whole bookshelf in there full of like books and mainly every single shelf is full of photo albums photo albums of pictures from over the years of us um live you know just pictures photo albums because you know we don't print off a lot of photos anymore and put them in photo <laughs> we leave them on our phones and then print off what we want right so um these are those little tiny garbage bags that you put inside those other little the garbage cans that i showed you guys in this uh, in, earlier in this vlog so anyway, um, I just wanted to bring these out here and put them in my car so I have them. Little tiny garbage bags. Okay, so yesterday what I did was my goal was to get all the books that we took off because Brian and Brandon carried the shelf up there the other day for me, the bookshelf. Fabulous, love it. And so I had to carry up all of the books. We have yearbooks, we have photo albums, I have book books that we carried all the way up the stairs, me and Brian both yesterday, up and down, up and down, up and down. I don't know how many times I climbed that climbed that flight of stairs. So needless to say, I've I did a fl I did I don't know probably 16, 17, 18 flights of stairs all day long, up and down, up and down, up and down. It was crazy. So anyway, carried up a bunch of books, carried up a bunch of stuff, um, and um, got that done. And I just did not film anything because I just wanted to. I was just in and out of the bedroom and focusing on getting that done. So I just didn't want to. Um, get that I just didn't want to film anything and then um, I didn't really do much of anything else except for that and put the books up there I did um, clean out my attic a little bit more which is so nice I have a tote behind me full of um, travel bags those like travel bags toiletry bags and stuff uh, that I am getting rid of hold on that I am getting rid of and uh, taken to the donation place and I'm still not done I still have a whole pile upstairs that I'm gonna be taking to the Goodwill too I'm just kind of going through all those and making sure that those are all empty that I don't give somebody like expired lotion that they don't need you know what I mean I just want to have all the bags and stuff cleared out but today 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 is Thursday um, my plan today is I have my list. I have to go to the grocery store. I have to go to Walmart. Uh, I'm going to go get my car washed. I want to go drop off this stuff at the Goodwill and then I want to come home, get all this stuff put away. And then I want to start cleaning the ceiling fans in the house and do some quick spring cleaning because I have all of my family coming over on Saturday for our Easter like dinner celebration type of thing. I am not cooking. I have ordered barbecue. I have to pick that up at 11 o'clock on Saturday. Um, my mom is making dessert. My aunt is making dessert. We're just going to have a nice day here on Saturday. It is supposed to be a high of 76 on Saturday and full freaking sun. And I am super excited about that. Another thing that I wanted to tell you guys really quick before I pull out of the garage. So I was supposed to go on a trip next week. I was supposed to leave. I was leaving Tuesday. Um, I was going to be going to Disney. Um, it was going to be a solo trip for myself to go to Disney. And um, I was going to be gone for a good week or so. And, well, a good week. And um, I was going to meet some friends while we were there. We were going to have lunch and just kind of enjoy each other's company and catch up and just have fun at Disney. And I am, um, I've decided not to go for a couple of reasons. One, uh, my mother is having a heart surgery, so I want to be um, here for that. So I ended up canceling because of that. I also just don't feel like, um, I just for some reason was, it's just very bizarre and weird of me. I, um, I just wasn't feeling up to the drive. It's a 10 hour drive from here. I planned on leaving Tuesday and just driving halfway and staying the night and then just driving the rest of the way in on Wednesday. But just the thought of that still, I just did not feel, um, I just did not feel like I wanted to drive that. I just didn't feel like doing it, you know, quite honestly. Um, and once I get there, I'm like, yeah, I'm here at Disney and I love Disney so much. And, um, 
I always get like the itch to go. It's like, I, I want to go. But um, timing of my mom's surgery and the timing of everything, um, I just decided that it was best that I just canceled it and not go. Um, but that's okay because it feels like I think in the month of October, I will probably be at a Disney park for the entire month. <laughs> um, we have Disneyland, we have Disney World, and we have an extra Disney World trip in October, which is exciting. It's going to be back-to-back -back Disney World trips for me, back-to-back -back Disneyland Disney World and Disney World again. Um, I'm actually staying there um, after my sister's, my the girls' trip. We're stay. I'm staying and we're transitioning over to Brian, Brandon, my other son Cody, and his wife uh, Mallory coming in for the for a Disney trip as well. So that's the plan as of now. Things can obviously change between now and October. Um, I'm not going to rule anything out between now and October that I will not go to Disney. But as of right now, um, I don't see anything happening until October. But um, nonetheless, I forgot. I also forgot to get a water and I love to have a water to drink. Ugh. Okay, so I'll just skip that. I'm just going to go to the grocery store. No, you know what? I got to get a water. I have to have a water. Okay, now I can go. I'm all set. Mm. I don't know. I drank, I think, 10 of these yesterday. 10. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Let's head on out. Let's get some stuff done and let's get back here. Oh, yeah, by the way. And then I left you guys off the other day, too, after I made my, my um, uh, meatloaf. Dude, that meatloaf was awesome amazing it was so good um brian actually was like yeah it's not bad he's not a meatloaf lover um but brandon he loved it he said mom that is a delicious meatloaf it's so good i'm like oh well thank you so much so we had that for leftovers last night and i think there's still like a slice left so um, i'll probably save that for him tonight because brian and i were going to be out tonight brian has a, a chiropractic appointment at four o'clock to get his um foot uh more stuff down with his foot and then um dry needling have you ever heard of dry needling brian has never heard of it before so we are gonna go see if we can get that done um they said they're gonna do it tonight um so it should be interesting because i've never heard of dry needling he heard it from a co-worker or a friend last week and brian's like man look into that because he said it it helps it feels so good it may hurt at the time but it feels so good afterwards your foot feels good or whatever so dry needling who would have thought all right let's go for those of you guys that watch um, uh, TikTok, have you guys ever seen those um, like TikTok things where they say, of course I'm a husband. I always, you know, have chores to do or I'm a wife. I always have chores to do. Okay, well, I'm going to do this. Um, of course I leave the house with an already full drink of water, but I still have to stop off at Dutch Brothers and get a Golden Eagle coffee. <laughs> I found that to be humorous, but yeah, and now my battery's dying. Holy cow, I forgot to grab another one. Anyway, okay, so yeah, I just thought that was funny because like, of course, I have a full drink. Of course, I'm going to go get another coffee or I'm going to go get a coffee, but um, Dutch Brothers, a Golden Eagle coffee, cold coffee, cold brew, so delicious. So I am here at Dutch Brothers and then I'm going to go get my car washed and then we are going to go. Luckily, you guys are probably not going to be able to see my car wash because the battery is dead. Mm. I'm actually pushing it a little bit with my battery here. It's like still there. Okay, so anyway, I just wanted to tell you really quick about my um, Dutch Brothers Cold Brew Golden Eagle. Today it's a little bland. Like before, like I got this, it's like it was really sweet. It had really good flavor to it. Right now it's really bland. So, oh, kind of disappointed in that. But oh well, unfortunately, um, it's unfortunate. But nonetheless. Um, now I'm headed in to Walmart and I'm going to go, I have to get a few things like I'm going to get a few Easter little goodies for the kiddos and, um, my list, my list, my list is here. 
So, um, and I'll probably have to go to Publix after, after this as well if I can't find everything here, which it looks like I should probably be able to find everything here. So I probably won't have to go to Publix. So yeah, good deal. I'll just get all my stuff here at the Walmart and we will be happy to go. Go back home. All right, so I'm gonna go. I will check back in with you guys a little bit later, hopefully. I'm gonna get a new battery when I get home. <laughs> Alrighty, so I wanted to show you guys really quick what I picked up at Walmart for the kiddos Easter bags. So I just kind of got a bag for each of them and then little things in there. Now don't laugh at the fact that I got toothbrush and toothpaste for them as well. <laughs> Brian's like, who, what, who does that? What the heck? Just dropped that one. But anyway, I got them just a bunch of little things, a little like mug that they can use while they're at the ball games and stuff because both um, Parker and Lucas are playing ball now. But this one is for Liliana. And then I just got him just a bunch of things like a sh chocolate, a little book, a little bath bomb, these little Ushis. I've never ever even heard of these, but they just look really cute. They were up by the register and they can just like open them for a little surprise. I actually got myself one too. It's a Harry Potter one. I haven't even opened it yet, but I just thought this was kind of a cute little surprise. And then um, I got her the little, like, what is this? My Little Pony or a Unicorn toothbrush and then toothpaste and then Peeps. And this is cute. This is a little like pops up lollipop thing where you hold your lollipop in there. And then I got all the same stuff for all the kiddos. A little book, little squishies. So they have a lot of cute little things. I'm just going to fill their little bag up with this green grass and it'll be all done. But that's their little Easter bags. So that is going to be it for this vlog. Brian and I are about ready to head out for his chiropractic appointment and then we're gonna grab dinner. And I just wanted to go ahead and get this ended. That way I can have this edited and up for you guys sometime tomorrow, which will be Friday. Um, tomorrow I will be working on the back patio and getting that all nice and refreshed for the weekend and for springtime. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited about getting all that done. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me the past couple of days or in this vlog. <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys in my next one.